Hello. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little heads up into what I'm doing today because I have a jam-packed day. So I actually am sitting in the parking lot of the Preston and Steve Studios. If you are not from Philadelphia, Preston and Steve is, I believe, the most popular morning show in Philadelphia. They're wonderful. They have um, a great team. So fun. And I originally met President Steve and the whole family when I was a rookie on the 76ers dance team. I used to do as many media appearances as I could. I wanted all the experience on live radio and live television. I enjoyed them and you had to wake up super early. So not all the girls were even available to do them or wanted to do them. So I got to know them and over the years as I've had other things to promote, they've always been so gracious. And today I was here to promote a movie. Uh, there's a movie called La La Land and so by the time I edit this footage it will have been out so go see it. I did get to talk to Preston and Steve and say hello it's always so fun to see them and especially Steve was so lovely he said he's been watching my YouTube channel thank you Steve um, my videos are probably not like a Preston and Steve genre he said what he liked about them that he thought that I seemed very genuine and authentic with what I was doing what I was trying to do and um, I was both um, flattered excited and I'm always slightly embarrassed when people tell me they've seen my YouTube videos. I'm like so so thankful and yet I know that I can be so weird in my videos but I just wanted to say say thank you to Steve for watching and also thank to you to Preston and Steve and the whole Preston and Steve family for always being so lovely to me throughout the years and I have a jam-packed day so I have to go run errands. I have a big event tonight guys we are doing toys for tots. Um, this is the season of giving. Brought an unwrapped toy and they receive happy hour specials for doing it. And, and so our group of friends who now are part of it has grown. Um, so we have a lot of help. So the girls are um, Jess, myself, um, my friend Rachel, my roommate that you saw in my Nikki Blackader um, video, um, my other roommate Danielle who you may have seen in my meditation video, um, Megan, my friend Megan, who also lived with me for a period of time. Um, our friends Alexis, who a uh, different Alexis than the one who used to live with me, although she did sleep at her house a lot before she moved to the city. And uh, Paola, and I think that's everybody. That's the squad. That's the squad, okay? So we're doing some good today, so I am going to go pick up things that I need for that. I'm trying to get done as much as humanly possible in one day. The fact that this is a thing is crazy to me. Target was the best. They had nothing I need, nothing at all. And I'm walking around in an evening gown and it hugs. See this. Be the first time I've walked in and out of a Target and literally brought nothing. But I have no time. I need. I don't just need three of them, but that's how they come. Um, now I need. Reader. Staples don't let me down. Okay, so Staples had three of the four things I need. But the last one is the most elusive. I'm gonna go to this party store and see if they have it. And if not, I'm going to give up and let somebody else look like I'm in the witchcraft. It's like a mixture of the boots. I don't know if you can really see me. And like the gown and the black coat. Freaking terrifying. They had them! I don't have to drive to Timbuktu! Okay, so, recapping the day. Appearance, radio station, drop offs, done. Unit visit to pick up stuff for work, done. Stops at Target, Staples, and Masquerade for supplies for Toys for Tots event, done. Quick GNC stop to get food before the gym, done. Gym, done. Visit to my friend Margo, who uh, books all of my promotions to drop off goods, done. Account visits, done. Now I am really craving a chai tea latte. Run for it, because I want it that bad. And to me, if you live in Philadelphia, uh, the Random Tea Room has what I think is the 
absolute best chai tea in the city. It's homemade. It like brews all day. It's delicious. Um, so my day, I feel like so many of my days are like this, where it's just like insanity, and there's no rhyme or reason. Like since I have this big event tonight, normally I wouldn't have done as much earlier in the day, but then I agreed to do that radio promo. So a night that I'll probably be up till at least 2 a.m. I was up at like 6 a.m. My days that aren't like this, I literally will stay in my pajamas all day and do nothing. Maybe I'll edit this YouTube video though. But like nothing makes me happier than a day that I have nothing to do. Nothing at all. PJs, is this just me? Do you guys do this too? Is there anybody else that's like, their schedule is so just, Sporadic. It's just that there's no balance. It's like all or nothing. City of Philadelphia, so I thought I would get a little. There we go. That's beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> Video of it. I think it's by far my favorite chai tea in all the whole city. That is great. I am so happy to be here. <laughs> you know, several times people from India were in here, and there were a couple of times that the people in India said of themselves that they were like chai um, connoisseurs. And they, the two that I was here, uh -huh. they said that, and we're here at Taste of the Chai, they both said that it was the best chai that they'd ever had in their life. The reasons why they even felt that it was better than anything they ever had in India was, in India the chai is probably awesome, but it also maybe not have how much, exactly. And it doesn't have so many of all of the ingredients yeah. that are in this. Yeah. So this one. I mentioned it's cold. Okay, so next step on the agenda is I have to go get my nails done. Like, really? I have more important things going on. But I, when you're a woman, you need to take time to do things like your freaking nails. Which I know for a lot of people is relaxing activity, but for me, who doesn't get them done that often. And my friends make me aware of how ratchet my nails look all the time. I'm always trying to do it on a day that I have thousands of other things to do. And so going to basically watch paint dry does not sound like a good time. But I keep trying to make YouTube videos where I'm showing you guys products or I want to display something or show you something cool on my phone and I realized that my ratchet nails are extremely distracting. So that's that. Focus. My nails were so, so long. I had like stilettos and they broke. So then I had to keep cutting the rest of them to match. And yeah, that's my gel nail polish just growing out. I know Rachel, I know. I mean, Rachel is like, I can't believe you wear those nails. I'm doing this for you, Rachel, for you. Because I'm going to see her tonight at our event. It's Christmassy color. Pink red. After. Through the magic of editing. Yeah, so I think mostly right now I just have to shower, get ready. I'm gonna try and clean up my room a little bit because it's gotten kind of crazy the last couple of days. And I just have like a list of emails, paperwork, work follow up stuff that I need to get in for tonight. So that and then uh, pack all the stuff up for the event and I've learned how to use the swipe card thing. And uh, that should be it.
takes three. Who is it? Oh wait, I think. Is there some number? If this is your number, you better come up here. Oh, I see someone's coming up. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. Uh, at Toys R Us, I'm gonna get two big shopping carts and going to like basically fill them up with as much toys as I can get and much bang for my buck. I'll get some like littler, more inexpensive toys. I'll get some toys that like I liked as a kid or that I think are cool. And then I'll get like a couple just big ticket items that in and supermarket sweep this Toys R Us. Both the mermaid and the twirling ballerina because these are things I want myself. <laughs> I'm super stoked about this. President and Vice President Barbie, what? Yes. I'm looking for some multicultural Barbies, like what the heck? There's no diversity in this Barbie section. That's cool, this is the, okay. Well, she's not diverse, but she's curvy. These are the new ones that are supposed to be like all different like types, like they're not the typical Barbie dimensions. That's kind of cool. I like the curvy girl. She looks like a Megan Trainer. Boring. 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 And it comes with a little ornament. Okay. How much is it? How much is this? $20. This is horrible. Uh, $580. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. up at Toys R Us, spent the full $600, and we did a pretty good job at keeping track of how much money we were spending, except for the fact we had to put back like two or three things, but I forgot that in the grand total there was a check that had been made out to directly to Toys for Tots, I accidentally spent an extra $25, which I didn't really mean to do because I already did like I already had donated like I I put some money towards it and I also had bought a couple toys already so I didn't really mean to spend the extra $25 but what are you gonna do some kid just really needed this so that's where we're at check that I have I'm gonna mail directly to toys for tots because they accept straight money donations but 
I just think it's so much more fun to actually go buy the toys. So, and you get to like hand select what you want. It's cool and fun. But so we'll we're gonna next stop is I'm going to go donate the toys to the last drop off spot that I could find. They do. They already picked up. Uh, and they already picked up on Wednesday. They stopped the lactation. Normally that's what they do. But toys are if you have a big bag, you collect toys and donate it. You get the money and donate it to the toys that are by the rest of the toys. Usually you keep going from there, but they were not so collected, so luckily you guys were. Um, um.